So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 79 of our Ports of Cream Mode on the PS4 FIFA 15 and we're going to be kicking off this episode with an extremely difficult game at home against Manchester City. It's going to be first against second in the Barclays Premier League table and I'm really hoping we can try and get something from this game. I don't really think we're going to considering we've just upped the difficulty but with the squad we have got and with the current form we're actually on and the style of football we actually play I believe we can uh, actually fork out a few good chances but the first chance game does get full to them Robert Lewandowski their new signing runs through and thank for us um, his shot goes awfully wide at the post but the next chance again does get full to us Origi is running through he cuts inside has a good shot hits Willie Caballero and finds itself in the root of, roof of the net and we found ourselves 1-0 up and Divock Origi our 22 year old Belgium international had cut inside left Vincent company for dead and uh, beat uh, Willy Caballero with a sheer pace of the ball and uh, he couldn't do anything to keep that one out apart from parrying it into his own net but um, the next chance again does fall to us Gorka has a really good shot but unfortunately Willy Caballero matched it with a brilliant save there otherwise Gorka could have picked up one of his best goals of his uh, career so far but they nearly double, uh, actually got themselves back on level terms. But thankfully, it was an absolutely delightful save from Cragno to actually keep us on level terms. But then he throws the ball out. It comes to Vieto. Vieto keeps on running through. He sprints past the defence. He is running through. He's one-on-one -on -one with Willy Caviero. He rounds him and slots the ball into the back of the net. And Armini Aguero does it yet again. In the 85th minute, he wraps up the game and wraps up the three points. And we all had Cragno to thank for that one. If it wasn't for Cragno's quick thinking and amazing save, then we would not have had that counter-attack from Vieto and what a fantastic uh, team guy it was as well as Vieto sprinted past the Man City defence as they um, were trying to break forward. We He found the gap and sprinted through it but the next game of this episode was going to be once again at home against Aston Villa and um, to be honest we should be beating Aston Villa. They're currently 16th in the table so they're not doing very well. We're currently um, 11 points clear at the top of the table so we don't want to let our lead slip but obviously I know we're going to be starting to slip up sooner or later because it is just not going to be our form is never going to be able to continue the way it is. But Aston Villa do have a pretty decent squad. But the first chance game does fall to them. Gabi Agbonlahor plays the ball to Victor Wanyama. And it's a pretty good save from Cragno. And thankfully their sliding shot there does go wide of the post. They do have another good chance. But unfortunately um, for us, Bakuna does actually unfortunately find the back of the net. As it was a fantastic pass to him. And I don't know why the right back was that far up the field. But he was basically playing as a striker. And he had the striker finish on him as well. It was a lovely finish from him. And um, unfortunately... Unfortunately for us, um, Eric Dyer was trying to play the offside and got it all wrong. But um, we do try and fight back, but unfortunately, we were leaving holes at the back of the defence. And uh, Weiman goes through, he cuts through, and uh, we do have a, um, a lovely slide tackle. But unfortunately, the referee didn't see it as a good slide tackle and points to the penalty spot. He sends Ayan off as well, so I don't really believe that that should have been a red card. But it was going to be Brian Ruiz up against Cragno. He was going to come out on top. Of course, Cragno was going to come up and make a fantastic save. And once again, he saves a crucial penalty. And straight after that, he actually, after the penalty save, he throws the ball outfield once again. And a lovely distribution from Cragno. He plays the ball to Lamella. Lamella does very well to hold the ball up, waiting for support from the uh, Portsmouth players. But he sprints past Sissoko. He puts a lovely ball in the box. It comes to Musa Dembele and he loops the ball over the top of Brad Guzan and into the back of the net. So from... Cragno is absolute hero in this episode. He had saved us. He had saved the penalty in the previous... He had actually saved the penalty in this episode, throwing the ball at field, and we had scored from it. In the previous game, he had made a fantastic save, throwing the ball at field, and we had, cons and we had actually scored a goal on the counter thanks to him. So Cragno basically picks up two very good assists. If you, They're not really assists, but in my eyes they are. We do have the chance to win the game in the 78th minute. Uh, Dembele was running through. He cuts inside a lovely roulette, almost selfishly passed the ball to to uh, Vieto. Vieto finds uh, Divock Origi who has the volley but unfortunately can only hit the post and the ball ends up treacling out wide for a goal kick. And that was actually how the game finished and Kragno yet again picks up a man of the match performance. So he's picked up two man of the match performances and the transfer window is now open. Um, or is it, it might have been open already. But anyway, we get transfer offers for Vitinho. Uh, we do decide to, the only way we're going to let Vitinho go is if they go ahead and match something like more than 10 million at least 10 million otherwise they're not going to have him 
But here is a squad report from um, this month, and the players we have got are progressing very, very nicely, especially with the likes of Lamella Vitinho, Divo Carigi, who's actually gone up plus two, Musa Dembele as well, and uh, maybe we'll have to look at um, selling on a few players, bringing in a new few players in the January transfer window, maybe trying to fi sign a few on the pre-contract. But we have to try and see who's available, and uh, obviously we, there may be some monster bids coming for clubs, and especially we've got a lot of players on form, especially the likes of Luciano Vieto and uh, Moussa Dembele and Vitinho are the three men they're going to be going in for, especially Kragno as well, because he's been having a good season. So they're the four players that are going to be... Um, on the list of a lot of clubs, they're going to try and bring them in. But the last game of this episode was going to be up against Norwich. And um, once again, it should be a routine win, but you never know what's going to happen. We haven't been in the greatest of forms of late. We only just managed to get a one all draw with uh, Aston Villa in the previous game. But then, saying that before that, we did do very well to actually beat Man City 2-0. But a fantastic free kick there from the Norwich striker. And he puts the ball right into the corner of the net. Even Cragno on his best of form couldn't keep that. That one out and what a fantastic finish it was from the free kick uh, Norwich is number 39 whips the ball over the box and right into the corner of the net nothing Kragno can do about it and to be honest it's one of them goals that you can't really defend against of course you could have said I couldn't I could have tried a, bit, a little bit better to not concede the free kick, but I'm sure you guys know how often they absolutely sky these shots or even pass them. But this time he whips the ball over the top, and what a fantastic guy it was. But we do have a chance to try and get ourselves back on level terms. Luciano Vieta plays the ball to our player here. He whips the ball in the box. It comes to Dembele, and what a fantastic power header it was in the 70th minute. To put it past Ruddy, and our number nine scores yet again another crucial goal to put us back on level terms. And, um... I'm not really sure how you pronounce our number seven's name. He's just Valsag. I'm not even going to even pronounce it. I don't have a clue. But they do have a good chance there. But thankfully, Hooper puts the ball wide of the post. And that's actually how the game finished. And um, a poor performance once again from us. And we're not picking up the points where we need to be picking them up. So I'm afraid we're going to start dropping down the table if we can't pick up the form of late. But we do get a transfer offer for James Wilson. And we decide to counter it for 1.4 million from Blackburn. We also get. Um, um, offers from uh, Roma for the likes of Vitinho as well and we do decide to actually sim the game up against Wigan in the FA Cup because I didn't want to play it we were now in the transfer window and I don't really like having games in the transfer window because I'm I get engaged with the market and I just want to see whether I get emails back and we do end up actually drawing the game 0-0 uh, 1-1 sorry uh, Dembele picked up the goal for us and um, we're going to be taking it to a replay but we do get a um, 1 million bid for James Wilson which we go ahead and accept but that's actually going to be it for this episode if you did enjoy it please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is very very much appreciated and I really do hope to see you next time very very soon for the next episode of the Portsmouth Crew Mode and maybe the new episode of the Tottenham Crew Mode will be on later on today but you just have to wait and see for that one. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.